Hi guys, AJ here. Today I have a Linux distro review for you. I'm looking at Ubuntu Mate uh, 15.04 and you guys have seen most of my videos. I, I've done reviews um, on and off and always the background hardware that I've been using has been uh, Manjaro um, uh, which is a, a, an Arch derivative. Um, a very very good operating system. The problem with that operating system has been um, there's a certain software that I need to run, which is R Studio. Now, R Studio is a uh, program that is a IDE, um, which is in a, an environment, a development environment for the programming language R. And R is used in statistical uh, analysis. And uh, as part of my job, I, I do data analysis and and um, I create charts and plots and, and, and things to help not only analyze the data, but uh, to prove um, uh, theories and uh, what am I looking for? Not uh, and and facts as to why something happened. Uh, it's it's fascinating. I, I really enjoy it. And um, one of the things that work was looking at was using this open source uh, software to to do their data analysis. And uh, I jumped on board and started learning it. The problem that I had with Manharo was the software was in the AUR which is the uh, user repository for Arch Linux um, and it just wasn't uh, consistently there um, I had it installed a couple of times and then for whatever reason I uh, had to wipe the hard drive um, and then reinstall Manjaro, or Manjaro, and when I go back to the AUR to uh, to install the package, it wasn't there, or it was there and it hadn't been kept up, and so it wouldn't install. And uh, I got frustrated because that's something that uh, I enjoy learning and want to continue to learn to uh, further my skills and in, in my job and I wasn't able to. <clears throat> if you go on the RStudio website, one of the Linux versions that is supported right from the, the developer is Ubuntu. And so any of its derivatives would uh, be able to, you know, add the, the uh, repository or the, um, uh, uh, ABT, I think it's called, um, and then be able to download and get the software updates. So that's what I did. I installed Ubuntu Mate, and you know what? It's great. This looks like the original Ubuntu uh, from way back when, when I first got into Linux again. Uh, after you know back in 2000 I, I did try Linux but it was very new and, and and just it was really hard to get it to work on on hardware and so Ubuntu came out and I was like wow look at this operating system it's different than Windows and it just works and this is what it looked like and you can see here I'm dual screening um, just trying something different uh, my daughter and I were editing one of her YouTube videos so I was teaching her so a bigger screen was nicer and so I'm, I'm trying this setup maybe I'll, I'll keep it maybe I won't um, you know do, do you like this setup do you like the dual screen um, leave a comment down below and you know give me some feedback if, if you don't like it if it makes everything too small um, I'll switch back to one screen. Um, the one one thing that I haven't been able to figure out uh, in Ubuntu Mate is how to 
you're seeing me on my main laptop screen. And then the, the screen that's up here in the corner is my external screen, my larger screen. And what I would really like to do, and I was able to do in XFCE, is to make the larger screen my main screen so it has the, um, the panels on my, my main screen up here. Um, that's just the workflow that I have set up at work and it works for me so I'd like to keep that here at home um, of course I'm using Windows at work and I use Linux at home but um, you can see here that I'm screencasting and it seems to be working it, it works well with my webcam picked up my webcam picked up picked up my uh, blue snowball uh, microphone which was fantastic and you get that classic look uh, you get a ton of software you get the the pluma text editor which I've been using to uh, to code some Python I'm going through a course in Coursera the Python for everyone course um, which has been fantastic I'm enjoying that uh, you have LibreOffice as your office suite uh, you can see here uh, our that's just the the base software um, stuck in here. We also get the Shotwell and Simple Scan. Uh, Firefox is our web browser of choice in, in Ubuntu Mate, and we also have HexChat, Pigeon Instrument Messenger, uh, Thunderbird Mail, and Transition Transmission. Sorry, Office. Uh, you get a Document Viewer. Calibri, um, I installed myself to get some of the course materials from Coursera onto my um, ebook reader. Um, and you see here the uh, LibreOffice suite programming. Here's my RStudio. Um, sound and video, I installed Caden Live. Um, as my video editor of choice um, and of course GovC view was installed uh, by me and simple screen rec simple screen recorder I installed I also um, also installed the uh, synaptic package manager that's where I actually got simple screen recorder because simple screen recorder um, was not included in the Ubuntu Software Center, um, and sometimes that happens. Uh, good, good programs that uh, that we use just get omitted. Um, it's not an exhaustive list, and uh, I don't expect it to to ever be. Um, and that's cool. Uh, one of the really neat uh, things that they have in Ubuntu Mate is the Mate Tweak tool. pop that over here and it's just a little little tiny um, uh, tool that you can use to just augment your experience in mate you can choose uh, which icons are shown on the desktop um, I have my mounted volumes in my home folder um, selected for for myself uh, you have different um, panel view layouts that you can you can install and, and run actually you don't install you just choose them um, so you have your mate desktop and it's this is pretty close to what I was running actually it is what I was running you have uh, the Ubuntu mate which Redmond which gives you more of a, a, a Windows type feel and let's just go in here feels more like Windows XP ish that's that's not a bad thing People are familiar with that. Now you get Redmond with the mate menu. And 
here's the mate menu maybe here it is and this one you can you can actually type in uh, you know Caden live oh so yeah you can just type in what you want hit enter and it opens up doesn't work that way in the uh, traditional um, menu you have a 11 which is actually more like a see more like a Mac and that's not uh, that's not a bad thing um, and gives you your traditional menu and then you have 11 with mate menu and go down here oh, it was supposed to be the mate menu hmm. interesting little glitch in the program could be because I'm screencasting and it's just not uh, redrawing the screen the way it's supposed to uh, and then you have open Seuss just give that a moment to kick in and it gives you the open Seuss menu um, which I'm not too familiar with this is I guess an older style of the open Seuss menu and did a search for a file that's odd I thought it would work sort of like the uh, the mate menu but evidently that is incorrect um, so I'll just I'll just switch back to Ubuntu Mate just for just for continuity's sake. And then you got your windows, of course, and you can uh, have, change your button Lego, use compos compositing, compositing, uh, which is you know could be your wobbly windows. Um, you have a Windows Manager Mac. Marco, uh, simple desktop effects, and that works fine for me. I'm on older hardware, so I'm not going to install Compiz because it just taxes the system too much um, for me. And I'm about performance, and I don't need to have all the glitz and glam. That may be for you, and that's perfectly okay. Um, but I like to keep it clean uh, and simple. And most things work out of the box uh, I, I found the uh, YouTube works uh, no problem just bring up uh, Firefox here the one thing that I didn't um, find that worked out of the box was my Wi-Fi I have a Broadcom mo modem or a wireless card I should say and I had to do a little bit of tinkering and install some packages through terminal to, to get that to work but you know what it only took five minutes at at the very most and uh, I was up and running and uh, I'm using wireless right now and there we go Firefox is starting just show you just show you that YouTube does work show you one of my videos 
from Christmas time. And my father and I doing the Bean Boozle Challenge. Hi guys, AJ here with my dad, and uh, today we're going to do the Bean Boozle Challenge and uh, see what more so dad's reaction is to these uh, wonderful candies that we, we have. So <laughs> let's start. We'll, uh, we'll flip the spinner. So you can see that uh, it's a great system. It's a classic look um, for anybody who is familiar with Ubuntu and uh, and its progression over the years. And so I'm extremely excited to use this. I'm glad that my programming software is available for Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is very well supported. Um, it has a great community. and the mate edition of Ubuntu is now an official derivative so that's fantastic so thank you very much to those uh, people who've been working tirelessly over the last few uh, distributions uh, to to achieve that status that is fantastic and and thank you for bringing us back a, a classic work uh, look that just works and uh, so guys uh, thank you very much for watching if you have any comments at all or if you like this video please leave a comment down below hit that like button and if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you in the next one real soon